Uh, so you had, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I want to ask this personal question of Joel Friday. Did you have childhood asthma? You don't have to answer that yes. if it's too personal. You did? Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I had asthma bad all the way until, like, I used to need it, like, often because I played sports uh, growing up, and I always had my inhaler with me. I always had bad allergies. I always needed an inhaler. It was bad. I was traumatized. And then um, not until I hit, I don't know, 18, 19, or maybe 16, 16 to, like, 19, yeah. Is when I stopped having to, to use it. But I had it growing up bad. And uh, it would come here here and there. Like, I used to have a, a machine, too. For sleeping? Like a breathing machine. Or, like, if it would get real bad, I would have to take the machine out, plug it in. It would oh, be all wow. loud, wake up the whole house. Oh, my gosh. And I had to put put it in my mouth, and I had to sit there and breathe. And da, da, da. Like, sometimes it was really bad. Yeah. But, um, Man, that's extreme. Yeah, when— And it's gone now. Uh, it's it's gone. Like here and there, I I've never had I haven't had to use an inhaler. Uh huh. Years, ten plus years probably. But um, say if I like eat something that is um a, my body's not used to, like for example, if I go and have um a whole pizza right now, uh-huh. I could feel it like flaring up because allergies. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. They, asthma is part of the allergies. So as soon as I changed my diet around, it was gone. Oh, okay. I haven't had I haven't had a to need an inhaler or even really feel anything nice. since. Yeah. Were you also did, could it have been affected by like the spirit? Like for sure. Was, was your mom? Did your mom scare you or somebody? It wasn't my it wasn't my mom. I think it was my dad. My dad is the one that scared me to uh-huh. be honest. Because my mom always um, my mom was the one that was the uh, discipline. Uh, what do you call it? She always used to one the whip the whoopings came from my mom okay but my whoopings never came from my dad i got one whooping from my dad and he hated that he had to do it Uh but i was more afraid of my dad because he had anger like that was heavy and apparent than my mom my mom was more on she was on the too nice side okay yeah the overly loving side yep so but my dad was always very reactionary so every time um he would get angry everybody knew it yeah. And when I was young, I, like, experienced, like, you know, his, watching certain things. I think I seen him get in a fight once when I was younger. Wow. I seen him yelling um, at somebody. And um, when I was younger, I remember waking up out of my sleep hearing it. And then it just was, I've always been, you know, from then to my growing up in my years in high school and stuff like that, it was always fear of that type of energy. Yeah. So... I think the fear, yeah, the fear for sure more came from dad than mom. So then when you got afraid, when you were like, were you like paralyzed with fear and you had shortness of breath? Because asthma means you can't breathe, right? Yeah. What I think it was, what I think it is, and this is my theory, I don't know. Right. I'm not a doctor. Yeah. But what I think it is is that because of the fear and the stress and the overthinking that comes from fear and stress and all that stuff, is that it weakens the immune system. So oh, yeah. my immune system, I would always be getting sick. Right. I'd always have bad allergies and all that stuff because I'm constantly worrying. I'm constantly, you know, my immune system is weak. So I think with that, plus the exercise that I was doing just was a bad mix. So I always had, like, I used to walk around with the nasal spray, you know, for my nose because it was always so clogged. Oh, wow. To the point that... Um, you guys are hearing all my traumas <laughs> to the point that in high school I got addicted to nasal spray in that my na- my nose wouldn't be clear without it. Oh my gosh. So it switched. Yeah. So uh-huh. I needed nasal spray Man, what a to setup. get back on it. So then once I realized I was getting um sinus infections, my my brain was um was pounding, which was worse than migraines. I had to go to the doctor, I had to get medication. And then I realized that I was addicted to nasal spray, so I had, to, I had to like do a harsh stop and get off of it. Wow! But all that came from yeah, the trauma, fear, stress, all that stuff as a kid. But as soon as I realized that, changed my diet around, and like you know, slowly and slowly overcoming, I rare, I never. As a matter of fact, I haven't had a sinus infection in since high school, and never used nasal spray since high school. Wow! And that's blah blah cool. blah. But I think all that stuff comes from trauma. 
Yeah. Yeah. It and makes people sense. think, yeah, that it's it's this other stuff. Is it seem like does it seem like more kids have this type of thing, like asthma, um yeah. peanut allergies and yeah. things like that? Yeah. Is it more frequent now or is it my imagination that people have these different allergies now more? I don't kids see especially. Kids, I do see a lot of kids um with the asthma. Well, speaking from my dance studio, I oh, do, okay. but even the ones, there's not many at the, my studio that have it, but I do know the ones that do have a troubled background. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So, and I can see how if those two are actually connected, yeah, why it's connected. Yeah. So I definitely see. But I think that, um, yeah, all that, all that stuff that the kids are picking up, you know, kids do like vape and all that stuff now kids be doing right oh, I know, all huh? kids smoke weed and they're like yeah they're all smoking weed but yeah it's all the same thing it's all coming from the same place when i when i was a kid my best friend in school one of my buddies anyway he had asthma supposedly i don't remember him suffering ever i never yeah. witnessed him suffering and we hung out quite a bit yeah but i remember i was scared of his dad and his mother yeah. was too nice <laughs> <laughs> So it might be kind of like your situation. <laughs> yeah. That he, as a kid, the trauma, had, the, yeah. had a little bit of these allergy yeah. traumas. Well, because also, now that I'm thinking about it, is that when these things come up, say if you have an allergy, but then you overreact to an allergy, yeah. and then you have anxiety, anxiety is another form of True. asthma. So if I had it a little bit, yep. the fear that I already had was like, you know, making it more and more and more. So then I'm like, oh, okay, well, if I don't use my machine, I'm going to die. Right. You know what I mean? So... All that, yeah, trauma. If there was no trauma, if the, there was no trauma, then I don't think that we would have, not that it wouldn't be, like, I don't want to completely dismiss it. Right. But I, it wouldn't be a problem. I don't yeah. think people would have to walk around with inhalers or uh -huh. machines. <laughs> right. Because now that I've stopped it, I don't ever have to use it. So That's interesting how, like, some of these things are have, like, major causes that aren't acknowledged. They are, and then yeah. they have lightweight causes that contribute to the problem. Yeah. And then they focus on those things. What do you mean? Like, give me an like uh, well, this stoves, these gas stoves. <laughs> did you? Uh, I don't really have any uh, pictures of it. I have pictures of the guy who's talking about it. Yeah. But gas, did you? Did your parents have a gas stove? Did your mother have yeah. a gas stove? <laughs> gas stove. <laughs> See, that's why you had it. <laughs> it wasn't anything to do with the spirit, man. <laughs> Everybody has asthma now. Uh, they're banning. They're thinking of banning gas stoves, stoves. because of childhood asthma. See, see, okay, this is this is where I think about this. <laughs> uh -huh. And you can let me know what you think. Okay, is that because people don't know the answer, uh -huh. or they know the answer but don't know how to fix it? It's easier to find a. Altern uh, alternative cure. Right. Ban the gas stoves. Yeah. <laughs> Ban it. It's not going to stop your kid's uh, anxiety. Yeah. Take away all the inhalers. No, no, no. They would really get it. Yeah. Ban ban <laughs> all the, you know what I mean? Like, give them medication and all that stuff. Ban the menthol cigarettes and the flavored cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not going to, but that's the thing. I think that they're doing this because they don't know how to fix it and they need some something. Right. So they're like, let's ban this stuff. But none of that stuff, none of that stuff ever worked. When has it worked? I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. Uh, this is the federal government. This is Consumer Product Safety Commissioner Richard Trumka Jr. The real Richard Trumka Sr. He died a couple, a year and a half ago. And this guy looks like a mafia union thug to me. A young version of his late father. Look at it. That looks communist. That. It's a cool. Uh, graphic here. We're looking at this guy's Twitter profile, Commissioner Rich yeah. Trumpka Jr. He goes by Rich instead of Richard Trumpka Jr. And he has this mustache. Yeah. Good looking guy, I guess, but a uh, strapping young man. He's a, like the mirror image of his father who's dead, but he was a union thug, in my opinion, back in the day. He's the safety for you, for all. What? Safety? Um... There's a quote that, uh, you know Raymond from church with Jesse Lee Peterson? He yeah. always talks in church. Yeah. He likes to quote this quote about 
um, from one of the founders, I think, a man who would trade safety uh, for secure, uh, trade freedom for safety and security, uh, will get neither, neither safety and security nor freedom. Makes sense. And, but that's what these communists, <laughs> oh. I'm calling them communists, push for is safety. And it's kind of like wolves in sheep's clothing because they have like an argument in some cases because there's stuff that gets out there that's not safe. All I'm saying is that this mustache and that background is not giving a good look for him. It's, it's not magic. I don't know if it's giving Hitler right. or no. what it's giving, but or it is. communist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't that graphic, it looks sort of like old-timey, like, government yeah. run of the world. Yeah. Either Nazis or commies. Yeah. For you, for safety, for all. <laughs> like, it's not, it's, not help, <laughs> he has that. it's not helping him. Yeah, he yeah. has that. Uh, it's not Hitler. It is, uh, who's that other guy with the mustache who was a communist? Stalin. It, maybe it's a <laughs> Stalin stash. Man. That's funny. <laughs> and uh, you ever heard of Nick Fuentes? Yeah. He's a fan of Stalin, I think. But this guy is no Stalin. He's a, he's a softy, <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> but he said, any option is on the table. Products that can't be made safe can be banned. And I think he works in the Biden administration. And his dad was friends with Obama. And he was a big union guy. Um, his dad died of a heart attack two summers ago in 2021. But he said, federal safety regulators are considering a ban on gas stoves. The CPSC, uh, which is Consumer Product Safety Commission, has been considering action on gas stoves for months, mainly due to concerns about indoor pollution linked to childhood asthma. So did you know that your asthma came from (laughs) that? They have this whole, they have this whole bio on this guy. The CPSC told CNN the agency has not proposed any regulatory action on gas stoves yet at this time. Any regulatory action would involve lengthy process. 35% of households in the United States use a gas stove. Mine did. Uh, but we had a kind of an open format house. My dad kind of added on to the... To the uh, he made the garage into like a family room. And so our kitchen was kind of open, vent, well ventilated. Mm. So maybe, <laughs> maybe that's... And I didn't spend much time in the kitchen. So uh, I never got asthma. Uh, I see. <laughs> I mean, I was kind of scared yeah. of my dad. My mother was too nice, but I didn't catch. The, yeah. I had other issues, maybe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that one skipped over. Right. Good. But no, but even if it does, I think this is why they get away with it is that it fixes a, the problem, but starts a new, a different one. Yeah. Like the ADD, ADHD. Right. They give them the pill and yeah, they're focused, but they're dead. Yeah. Right? But so then now it's like, oh, but now Johnny can focus. He got an A. But also he's a zombie. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? But I know. Then, then that one gets swept down into there. But oh, he has a new issue. Yeah. Right. So I just. You're, you, you said it right. They focus on a problem, and I would call it a symptom. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not the, they're not getting exactly. to the root. Exactly. And then they start other problems. Yeah. Who could have predicted that? <laughs> a no, the number approaches 70%. That's of, a good point. Of <laughs> households with a gas stove in some states like California, New Jersey. Wow. Or seventy percent of of households have gas stoves. But did it is there a study saying that once they removed it, it's <laughs> like the kid uh, did the, it, <laughs> Yeah. Is there one? No, I don't know. Uh, Maybe. They they gotta have some type of I wonder. They have facts behind these communists I call them communists. They yeah. use facts to like justify their stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but they're not looking That's at true. all the everything. They yeah. need some alternative facts from JLP yeah. to get to the truth. So there's a freedom lover who is not for banning gas stoves. There's this guy no- named Chef Gruel, I think is his name. I think he's from, like, uh, what do you call it? I think he's from Huntington Beach. I'm not sure. Oh, it's Cali. But anyway, he said in, pro- in protest, I have this clip 13, in protest of the suggested ban on gas stoves, I'm staying taped to this stove forever. So he's kind of like these people who handcuff themselves to like a piece of art or like oh, glue themselves oh, to artwork yeah, yeah, yeah. to save In the earth. Protest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's taping himself to the gas because stove. I don't know if that one's smart. It may work. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, look at this tape that this guy has. Here it is. Here's the clip. 
In response to the Biden administration's suggested uh, proposal to ban all natural gas stoves, stoves in households, commercial kitchens, I have taped myself to the stove and I will stay taped to this stove until the idea is completely eliminated from everybody's minds. I'll be here. Okay. <laughs> hey, is that a joke? Is he serious? Yeah, yeah I, it's think okay, I think yeah, it's a joke. Cause, cause it looks like painter's kinda, tape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, the point is, is that like not everything got to be a, take away the gas stove. So, like that's not that big of a deal. You right. Know what I mean, like let them keep the gas stove. Yeah. And if you're cute and if it's causing asthma, then they got asthma. Right. You know, don't force me to take my gas stove. I, I like my gas stove. And it's my child. I can give right? him asthma if I want to. <laughs> I can scare asthma into it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's better than somebody else doing it because they'll do it, worse. Exactly. They want to replace the parents. And they don't want to talk about that. But I, 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 even though it's a joke, I think it's, it's, it has some truth to it. Like, yeah, don't yeah. take my gas stove. What the? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly.